hello guys we're gonna do joomla tutorial we want to install our first joomla all right let's do it the first thing you have to do after you've already got your WAMP server in case you don't know how to install WAMP server on your machine uh check my previous video the first thing you have to do is to go to joomla.org and download uh, the latest joomla package Joomla 3 is free, ladies and gentlemen. Free as in free beer. You download it. I've already done it. Um, after you downloaded it, you kept it somewhere safe where you can find it. In my case, I've kept it um, right here inside my WAMP server. Anyway, let's go back. The, the first thing you have to do before you, you install Joomla because Joomla requires um, a database before it runs. The first thing you have to do is to go to phpMyAdmin. Oops, that didn't work. This is because I've changed my... Uh, that won't work either because I've changed my one server local port host ports from 80 to 8080 80. this one should work and then you come in here you can see already have a couple of databases but what you have to do you use this graphic user interface to create your uh, database for your joomla website you go to databases give it your my first first underscore joomla and you say creates it will create your first database and then when you come to the left side here you will see what you just created first joomla select it yeah so you are in there it will ask you to create table don't create any table joomla will do all that for you what you need to do is to go to privileges and add a user for the database very important add your user uh let's call him our first let me use small caps first Ah, let's use something easy. Let's call him root. Oh, there's already root in there. Let's call it our first um, Joomla. Am I writing first? No, first. First. I like using small caps for small s. First Joomla underscore user okay i'm about doing it hmm. let's call it first user first j underscore user uh, and then host is local host because we are using our local WAMP server password let's give it root roots retype roots now very important uh we're gonna grant check all and grant this super duper user or privileges so it's add user and but the b but boom is set so the next thing you have to do is as i said you go you go to your c drive and find your wamp server this is your WAMP server and the WAMP server you look for WW World Wide Web although it's called Computer Wide Web so what you should do is to create a new folder for the website you're gonna create in this case you're gonna create first first underscore Joomla okay what we're gonna do is to to extract the Joomla package we downloaded into that folder so I'm gonna use my WinZip to extract file and give the the path of the folder first 
Joomla here. So I'm gonna clean all this thing. Call this one uh, first Joomla. First underscore Joomla. Alright, so okay. And it will extract, and I'll see you at the other end of the extraction. It will take a couple of minutes, three right, maximum. Joomla has finished extracting. We can check into our first Joomla folder and see that yeah, there are a lot of files in there. So after that, the next thing to do is to go to your browser um, and type localhost slash first underscore Joomla. Enter. Voila, um, that is how we do. And then you enter your information like first, first Joomla sites, description optional, and then enter email. Let me enter me, me at my sites. Com. I leave this one as admin. You can change it if you will. And uh, password. Let's give it root. Confirm root. Leave everything as it is. Click next. Probably the password didn't work. Root. Root. So next. Yeah, it was the password. I mistyped. Sorry. And then uh, username. Now this username. This is the database information. Uh, the database we created earlier on. So what is the username? It was luckily we have not uh, closed it so it is here um, first j user so we give the first j user password was root database name was first Joomla first Joomla all right everything as it is click next all right now for a uh, very important if you install your first Joomla that you install at least some data so it gives you um, an idea of how your Joomla website is going to look otherwise it's going to be blank and if you are a starter trust me you can easily get lost so everything is green apart from these ambers and that is quite normal that is how it's supposed to be and we say install it's quick as you can see it takes a moment but it will install yeah exactly great congrats congratulations joomla is now installed important to remove installation folder so what else you can either go back to the back end administrator or to the site let's go to the site and see how it looks voila fantastic this is how our joomla first joomla website looks like to see uh, what is uh, behind, you simply type administrator.
and you can log in yeah okay this is the back end um you can always go to the front end just click in here preview site but this is where the magic happens and uh, look out for my next tutorial where we will start building up on this uh, joomla website thanks for watching bye